and welcome to episode 21 of This Nitty Life. My name is Rachel and I am coming to you from Leeds, Leeds, West Yorkshire, where I live with my husband Rob and my two children, Martha and Theo. Um, today is, is it Friday? Friday's 27th of November 2020. Um, we're still in lockdown. Should anyone be interested to know? Um, but today is quite kind of a special episode. It is uh, my podversary today. Um, I had a little look on YouTube this morning and my first episode was on the 22nd of November. Um, so technically we're one. Happy birthday! Um, yeah, I'm only on episode 21, so I haven't actually got as many um, episodes in as I would have liked. Um, but never mind. Um, I do have an awesome giveaway for you, but um, I will post this really slow at the minute and none of it's arrived yet. So maybe just check my Instagram, which is this nitty life, this underscore nitty underscore life um, on Instagram. Um, or I'll try and do an update or something. But yeah, it's not come yet. And I've tried to hold on. It's now one o'clock in the afternoon. And our post is normally here by now. Um, so I've tried to hold on all day to um, see when it arrives. But this is my only window this week. Um, so welcome. Hi. Like I said, I'm re what my was rewarding memories now this nitty life on um instagram and i am reward on ravelry um today i have on my ama sweater so this is knit in um loki from castle view yarns and this is a hedgehog i think this is harvey knits we have my little tree up but um you can't see well you might be able to see i've got some lights up in my window already so that's um getting ready to go for the festive season decided to bring a little bit more light in to the situation slow down rachel anyway i hope you're all okay um i hope everyone who celebrates had a really nice thanksgiving it's been some cra crazy times right let's kick off shall we um so yes i have uh, my castle view yarn jumper on this green is one of my favorites it goes with my very very green eyes martha has my green eyes too um yeah <laughs> yeah so um i've got an effort today actually um it's been a few weeks since our podcast um what has been going on anything exciting no not really not not nothing i've done nothing i've been nowhere Nothing, nothing of interest really, other than a little bit of knitting, reading, a bit of film watching, working, school run. That's that's it really. Um, oh, I lie. I'll talk about this later. I'll sh kick off with my first. I say first. I've got one finished object, and this is my tinsel mitts. So this is actually technically a new cast on too. So these are tinsel mitts. So this is um. Uh, Andrea Mary, I forgot her name. <laughs> Andrea Mary patterns. I do have two. I've not well, finished with the ending on that end. But I have used some gorgeous Spectrum yarn. This is one of her Halloween colorways. She has an update tomorrow night, the Saturday, the 20, 28th. Um, so that's super exciting with some fun Christmas colorways. I imagine there'll be non traditional Christmas colorways too. But yeah, this is um, one of. Um, her pinks, can't remember the name of it. This is a Halloween colorway, which I think was just Halloween. Um, this was one of the minis I got from her. Um, can't remember what it's called either. This yellow is actually dye candy. That was a mini I got when she did some um, like 12 of the best or whatever it was called. Called. So yeah, so these are my work from home mitts because um, it's chilly. It's really chilly working at home, uh, not moving a great deal. Um, yeah. So I didn't do the, um, it's supposed to have like a slip stitchy down the front. I didn't end up doing that. I just tried to make them as bright and fun as I could um, for while I'm working. Type, type, type. I've got a new nail varnish. I did a little story on that. This is Blue Sky. This is a special anniversary colourway. Is it colourway when it's nail varnish? Anyway, it was a three pack. Um, and the other ones are really nice too. But yeah, I'm super pleased with those. They kind of came together quite quickly really, I guess. Um can't remember when I cast them on, but I've been knitting on other things. But yeah, I'm really pleased with those. They're super cosy. Um, I might knit, knit some for gifts. And um, these are the ones I knit for my mum as well uh, for her birthday. So she's got them and that's all hunky-dory. Yeah, so I'm super pleased with these. They're really, they're really fun. They were fun to work on. No one likes doing the thumb, but you know. 
you gotta do what you gotta do yeah so that's tin summits by andrea maori my little back on should you want to know it what is it maybelline rimmel lion it's rimmel and it is called rose records i've got loads of this i think i've got my ebay i've got loads of that and um, i've got um some whips to show you i've pulled a few of the older ones out as well actually because I have just kind of mainly, mainly been focusing on my test knit. Um, and I've got a few acquisitions to show you. I'm quite Maybe I'm quite glad that the post's not come because I'm waiting on quite a few things. Right, so my main whip is my test knit. Okay. So this is my test knit. Can you see my little reindeers now and my Christmas trees? So this is called My Deer Sweater, obviously deer like a deer, so double E. Um, and the other day I did all of this in one day from that Christmas tree the other day. So I started with, uh, I had like a half an hour meeting at work where I'm okay to knit on. And then in the evening I literally just sat and read my book. Um, I had my phone was charged on the other side of the room. Um, I sat and read my book and just kind of didn't move really. Once I'm in my chair, because they recline, I don't really move. Um, but yeah, loads of, loads of um, progress on this, actually. I think, had I just tied off for the sleeves? Or hadn't I? I think I'd maybe just tied off for the sleeves. Um, but I really hadn't been given this enough love. So I think I'm probably going to do another couple of inches, maybe, and then do the rib. Um, so I've used three, the yarn is castle view yarn i'm doing the um helical knitting so it doesn't um pull in any way so this is what i've got left this is called poison apple um so this is what i've got left um i do have another skein on the way actually um jen felt sorry for me and kindly has sent me one um so i'm waiting on that coming um but yeah, so that's coming really well. I really want long sleeves on it. Um, I think it's out on the 1st of December. So the pattern is by, on Instagram, it's called The Wool the wool Barrow, as in B-A-R-R-O-W, like a wheelbarrow. Um, but I'm totally loving it. The colour works really easy. Um, it's a cute little bobble at the top. Can you see at the top there? These are really fun, actually. And yeah, it's fiddly. But it's like one row and it's the same on his nose as well. Or you could sew a button on there if you wanted to, like a little red button. But yeah, I'm loving that. So um, just basically round and round. I've got my gorgeous stitch markers on. I think I showed you these last week. I love this one. It's my favourite. It's, it's big and chunky, so it can't go on delicate projects really. And this is, I can't remember where this one's from, but it was maybe last year or the year before. Probably got quite a few on here. Oh yeah, and I've got a gingerbread man. And what else have I got on here? Dear me. A little Christmas tree. Yeah, so that's coming um, along nicely. I've ordered a Christmas um, project bag for it to live in. Um, everything got shipped out really fast, but everything's just a bit slow because um, COVID wrecking the world, is it not? Um, yeah, so I'm making really good progress with that and um, I'm going to kind of crack on with that all weekend, really. Um, yeah, she's been very relaxed about the deadline, like I've not been chased in any way, shape or form. Um, just worth noting, I've had a bad neck this week. I've been moaning about it quite a lot on Instagram, so I do feel a little bit robot-y. It's just twinged a few times and I'm trying not to... Because it hurts. I just slept funny. Um, what can I do? So another one I've been working on, I haven't done a lot, I think I've done a fair amount, let's see, is, this is my daughter's um, Mountain Mist. This is Mountain Mist by Tin Can Knits. So she's got a long body, so my daughter is seven, but she is a diddy little thing. Um, so she's got a long body. So I've done quite, quite a long body. And then I've started the sleeve I won't lie, sleeves are dull, aren't they? Dull as dishwater. And the fact that it's just like a, a flat commercial colour, which is fine and perfectly fine, but it's not terribly exciting. So 
I think what I've been finding lately is I've been doing quite a lot of colour work so I tend to not like to do only one thing at once so I always have either an audio book on or I'm reading um generally when I knit um so I've been having audio books on um while I do colour work because I can't read and do colour work at the same time um but I think I'd have been having audio books on when I um have been knitting on this and I think my mind's been wandering too much whereas if I've got an audio book and I'm doing colour work I'm listening to the audio book and, con and like concentrating on the colour work whereas when I'm listening to my audio book and just normal listen I'm just like oh this is a bit dull this is a bit dull um but you know I've done I've done some so I think I need to read and then just do stock and stitch if that makes sense at all um yeah so we'll see yeah, so that's come along nicely. So I would like to finish another one. I'd like I'd like that finished. I'm kind of done with it now, to be perfectly honest. So that was Mountain Mist by, not Martha, for Martha by Tin Can Knits. Um, I don't know how much I've done on this, actually. Did I say, I think I maybe said before I was waiting on some yarn coming. So this is my, no, I really don't think I've touched this. This is my Mon Manor. So this is the Marled Project. Gorgeous stitch mark. I've got a gorgeous stitch mark. It's everywhere. There's a ghost. I've seen a ghost. Oh. Gorgeous ghost. Yeah, so I was waiting on my minis coming for this one and they've actually come. So I'll show you those in a minute. So this is my gorgeous botanical yarns bag. I love this bag. It's huge and I've got my gorgeous pin on it that she sent me. It says Houseplant Killer. That I am, Sophie. Um, yeah, so my minis did come. I'll show you them properly in a minute, but I just went on the first one because um, she didn't have, um, the minis of Kate Celine, she doesn't, either didn't have or they were dyed to order and therefore it's quite a long wait on dyed to order. I think it's been like 30 working days. Um, whereas she had minis ready to ship, but I think there were only five grams. I'll show you the bundle in a minute. Um, I think there were only five grams, so I ended up ordering like, Several, or maybe 10 grams, surely 10 grams or 20. I ordered several in one colour just so I could do it, but um, yeah, that's what I've got left from my original one. So I think I'm probably just gonna um, I put it on my Swift and then I just did it around my hand, but I think I'll just put it around my Swift and then make this ball bigger, I guess. Um, the blue is uh, Old Maiden Ant and this is Mon Money and it's um held together so two yarns held together um so it started off with this one and then faded into this one i don't feel like in hindsight my fade was particularly good what oh, fluffy up my nose but alas yeah okay so that's a big a big old project in there yeah so it's a really big one this is the midi size which is the medium size from Sophie of Botanical Yarns. Speaking of Botanical Yarns, there is a Yorkshire Yarn Fest tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think she'd actually hope to have this one in real life back in the day. Um, so I don't think there's quite as many vendors um, on this one because they had been getting quite busy. Um, but I think she'd actually hoped originally to um, have this one in real life. But alas, we're not quite there yet, are we? So. Um, yeah, so it's nearly been a year since the last one because it was the end, the very end of November when we went to York and had it in that gorgeous freezing, beautiful, but on. Um, that's a shame. Um, next up is my Flamingo Sop. So this is Stripey Cat Yarn. This is a gorgeous self-striping. I'm pretty positive my toe should be imminent. I did a little bit of this on the play in the playground this morning on the school run and I was knitting it. I barely did any. Sorry, knitting. It's got T's in. I'm aware that I dropped my T's. I am from the northeast. Who are also in tier three along with Leeds. When will I see you again? Yeah, so I think um the tour on this is imminent. So I need to have a little measure and get it done. My socks tend to live in my little grey girl bag. This is one of the wrist ones that I have on. But yeah, my husband, 
husband has been doing some working from home days, so he's done a bit of a school run this week, uh, which is nice. Um, so I've not got a lot of playground knitting in. So yeah, so that's just that needs needs to be finished. Really, they've been hanging around too long. Um, I do have a stripy cat yarn. Christmas Eve colour coming. I think she's just dyeing them up this week. Um, so that's exciting as things go in my little life. Um, I can hear a car outside. Oh, I hear the beep. Someone's reversing. I've already had um, an Amazon food delivery. Right, this one I've not made a lot of progress on, but I just thought I'd get it out. Just for fun. Eh? A bit of a tangle. So this is my gorgeous. Look at this. This is party top sweater. So it's got some eyelets running across the sleeves. And this is in spectrum fibre. This is the gorgeous pink of this. Goes with everything. It's got it's got speckles in as well. Look, so it's not just a flat pink. Um, this is a DK weight. Um, I'm onto the sleeves. So I've done some sleeve. I think when I mentioned last time on the podcast, I'd just picked up for the sleeves. So the sleeves are coming along. I am doing them a little bit bigger than normal because um, my other one is skin tight. Um, what um, what I am doing is because everyone hates sleeves, right? Sorry, they're clacking off the table. Um, what I started to do with the eyelets, so the eyelets are all kind of uniformed. Um, I'm gradually, um, hello pumpkin, I'm gradually putting them further and further away so there's a bigger gap between this one and this one than there is here and then I think I'm ready for an eyelet roll there and then that will be a bigger gap again just to kind of fade them out over the arms not that I don't really like them but I'm also quite lazy um, and I would like this to be a full length garment so that is scrummy yeah so that's spectrum and um yeah is in is another giant gorgeous bag this is Naomi's favorites there's I don't I don't have loads left I've got this much left which will be fine which will be fine and then I'm going to do the cuffs in the pink which I need to dig out of my bag that these were in and put them back in there and I'm on the squeaky chair again and there's the door I'll be back in a sec I'm back sorry about that that was Amazon it wasn't even um more royal mail um but while i've been gone and um, i ran upstairs two stairs actually and i got some of my new jewelry that i wanted to show you so i've been flashing this off a little bit on instagram um this is a gorgeous holly necklace and i've got matching earrings too so you might see on my feed i got some of that it's called um it's Zara Jewelry, but it's Z R A underscore jewelry. Um, but I'm totally, totally loving it. So I've had it on nearly all week. Um, I think I've enabled quite a few people as well this week to get some. Um, and I also went and got my nail varnish just in case anyone wanted to see it. Um, so it's the Blue Sky pack. These are things I meant to bring down, but you've got three, three different ones. So I've got the top one on and then there's like a light, a light one and then a darker one. So we've got this jazzy, jazzy top on them actually. They're super cool. Yeah, so I've got yeah, a pinky one and like a taupey phony one and then a more of a brownie one, but they're all super sparkly. But yeah, I just thought I'd run and and grab those for you. Um, so back to whips. Sorry, it's throwing me off my game now. Um, That was Rob buying Christmas presents last night. He's like... Don't go on Amazon order history because obviously he's got Prime. Um, and he's like, don't go on Amazon order history. I'm terrible for snooping, so now I can't go on. So technically, I can't, and everything's not arrived, and I can't open anything. Right, moving on. Right, it's something I'm, I've not worked on since the last podcast. Aren't they cute? Um, but I meant to show it on the first one. So it's his, my Guthrie. Oh. so this is my gorgeous jumper this is Caitlin Hunter one so I'd uh, finished the body off and I hadn't shown you last time so I meant to bring it over 
this looks smaller than I am, which is why I'm maybe not in too much of a rush to finish it because I am not that size anymore. Yeah, anyway, I did the bottom. I think that's probably where I was, I'd guess. More Christmas trees. Yeah, so now it needs the sleeves. So I've definitely got um, the sleeves that you can do it just in the round instead of magic loop. Um, but I don't know where they are. So I need to kind of um, dig them out, really. But yeah, that's kind of all. Is that all my whips? I think that's all my whips, really. Um, it's hurting a bit. Um, I think that's all my whips. Um, yeah, I've mainly been... Um, what have I been doing? on my phone I'm just terrible for being on my phone lately it's really annoying me actually um a book I read I read a book the other day um excuse me and um I use my kindle I don't use real real books um I'm a kindle kindle audible kind of gal um but it was um sometimes when I order books I've got kindle limited but I do also buy quite a lot of kindle books as well um I am in the kind of a romance area we'll call it a book so I don't know how many I want to recommend to the world um <laughs> but if you want any details um one that I've finished recently is called The Hating Game I think I'll probably talk about this before but it's been made into a movie and I'm so excited um a lot of people I'm on a couple of um like Facebook groups and stuff recommend The Hating Game as their first romance um book so it's not necessarily chick lit as it's called um there's a phrase called a slow burn. So basically it's kind of building up. So often it's like an enemies to lovers situation. But The Hating Game is a gorgeous book and I'm so, so excited about the film. And um, so it's being filmed now. And um, the actress who's um, playing the leading role, Lucy Hutton, um, that's the character's name, um, is doing lots of little sneak peeks and it's, oh, it's delightful. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, so what I was saying was um, when I update on my Kindle, sometimes it goes on my Kindle and sometimes it goes on my Kindle app. So sometimes I end up reading on my phone and sometimes I'm on my Kindle. But the other day it was on my phone and then when I looked later on, I'd, I'd spent five hours on my Kindle app. Um, so yeah, so my social media numbers were really low, uh, which was awesome. But yeah, I'd, um, I'd read like for ages and ages and ages. And it was awesome. I think I've read a few books this week, actually. Just like when I finish work, that's all I want to do. Just sit and read my book and knit. <laughs> I've been a great mummy this week. <laughs> but I got loads done on my test knits. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, show you a little bit of my acquisitions. I do have some non-knitting acquisitions I wanted to share with you as well from Just a Card. And a little bit of life going on -ness. Um, So first up, I have two of these. This is they're gorgeous this is raven red and this is by beehive yarns um beth has sent me the mohair for this to do a jumper and um i wanted a base um i did not pay for these i might add i had two of them and she said they were for my test knit but i'm sure she's already paid me yeah for my test knit i did point this out to her but gorgeous this is on singles look at that red so I do have the mohair ready to go, um, but I can't find my six millimetre needle. So if I end up doing a love note without the lace or um, um, Dragon Hard Yarns has got a gorgeous mohair one as well. But um, I've got lots of Christmassy Christmas knit plans. So I'm doing my deer sweater. I've also got um, my um, hedgerow yarns, which I showed you last time. So I got some of Castleview yarns. 50 gram DKs to go with that. I think I had another delivery as well, which I've not brought down, which is the Won't Go Speechless colorway, which is a bright blue, which goes really well um, with the hedgerow ones, actually. Um, so I don't know whether I've got my eye on maybe a throwover because the throwover go are gorgeous. I posted on my Instagram today, um, a friend of mine, Amy, has done a gorgeous one, and it's been cake, a gorgeous one in rainbow heirloom, and I love it. Um, so I might have to copy. Um, it's so nice. I love rainbow, rum, that rainbow heirloom yarn. Uh, excuse me. Um, I'm up so late reading these days. <laughs> um, yes, that's, that's completely gorgeous. And I, I think it's Esther, I think it's called. 
which is sport, but meh, I'll just change the yarn because whatever, it's fine. Um, <laughs> yeah, so some sort of colour worky thing, but I would, I would like just like a solid something to show my beautiful necklace off. Um, because I had this on over a Soldotna the other day, and obviously the Soldotna is quite um, heavy colour work, so it looks it looks okay with this. But anyway, right next up, I'm going to show you my Kate Celine. So this is Kate Celine. Um, you can see that several of them. I'm looking at the bright light; it's so bright, man. Um, several are the same. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. I guess. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, <coughs> excuse me, there's five here and I've already wound one up, so that's six. So this is called Whiz Bang, this one. I can get one out, can I? Yeah, so this is Whiz Bang. They're a bit darker than they're coming out. My eyes are all woof. Um, I can't remember all of the names. This one, I'm sure it's called Gloria, which is Kate Celine's um can't remember the name like her other personality i can't remember the name or phrase but yeah this one's called gloria so you can see they're a bit different not massively actually but this one's this one's got more brown in it I, and that one's got a darker one in i don't know how to focus at all um this one is definitely bobbing along i love this one i'd love a big one of this uh, my friend got a dk in this um, and did a radiator sweater which is gorgeous and she did it with um, black and then this and it's gorgeous um hmm, can't remember what you are but you're beautiful <laughs> gorgeous minis so i think these are 250 maybe um and this is like a christmasy type colorway but i thought that would be quite cool on socks there's another Ah, and then this was a freebie actually this one love it yeah so that's kate celine and um, she's um based in the uk somewhere down south i guess but totally 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 scrummy um yes i'm just gonna have a little sip of my drink you don't mind do you mm. i love bob right so next up my acquisitions or Jeez, it hurts. I don't know what I did. I slept so funny and it was my, definitely my neck on, was it Tuesday? Definitely my neck on Tuesday, like definitely here. And I was literally like this. It was horrible. Eased up a bit yesterday and then, no, eased a bit, a bit when, yeah, Wednesday it was hard. And then on Thursday, yesterday, it started to go into my back. And then I woke up yesterday, this morning and I was like, I don't think I can move. And then Theo jumped to my bed and I was like, I don't think I can move. My, and it was all down my back. But I'm just a bit stiff. So, you can tell who that is. So, my lovely friend, don't judge, okay? No judgment here. My lovely friend Terry of Fine Fish Yarn has made an appearance once again. I think, as with many people, um, Terry found lockdown jolly difficult. She has two little ones like me, maybe a squid younger than mine. Um, and she's in Ireland, so I think their rules are different. I think they started to lock down and homeschool earlier. But anyway, she's kind of been off the scene a little bit um, lately um, while she's been trying to survive, basically, juggle life. Um, so she did, um, she was trying to clear the decks in her shop. Um, so she did um, a big discount. Yeah, so everything was reduced. So I've not... Um, I'll be honest, I've not bought from her all year, actually. I do buy, I, I do, this one's so pretty. I do normally buy quite a lot from her at shows and stuff, but obviously there's been no shows. Um, so I wanted to push a little cash her way. That sounds weird, but you know what I mean? I wanted to support my, support my friend in her independent business after she presumably had quite a dry spell from not posting on Instagram for months. Um, yes. Don't need to justify it. So, um, I went a bit nuts, I'll be honest, but it doesn't matter. Right, so I got this gorgeous one. This is called Obstruction. So this is a gorgeous, super duper dark um, 
blacky colour, but there is, can you see there is a bit of purple in there and a bit of teal. And I actually also got the mohair of it as well. So this is a sock and then this is mohair. I did just originally have mohair, but look, oh, it's gorgeous. So my plan for this is, dum -dum -dum, um, not necessarily a love note, but I think probably that pattern, but um, I got some gorgeous minis from the Yarn Goddess, which um, mini mohair. So what I want to do is kind of do a love note. I don't want to sit up because it hurts. Up to like the sleeve cut off and then do stripey mohair down the sleeve. So do this for the body. And I've got, um, I got a bright pack from Knitting Goddess and I got a moody pack from Knitting Goddess. Um, I'm yawning. Apologies. Um, yeah, and I'm planning on doing that for the sleeves. So that they've got a plan. Okay. Um, I got one of these. This colour is everything. I think this has been probably one of my favourite of the year. This is called Crystal Castles. And I think if you recall, one second. I did um, um, a hoodie shawl cardigan using this in four ply. This is actually her sport base. Is that focusing at all? Look at the speckles, man. It's gorgeous. Um, so this is her sport weight. Um, if you'd said that was four ply, I'd probably believed you, to be perfectly honest. Um, but it's a high twist. But sometimes I find a bit high twist a, a bit a bit not as fun to knit with. Whereas like this one, also ridiculously gorgeous. She sent me this one as a gift actually. And this is one of a kind. So this is um, just, and um, this is Merino, Superwash Merino. Yeah, so I'm digging this sportwear. It's totally, totally scrummy. So I also got this one on sportwear as well. This is Metropolis. Um, I did actually go back and buy another one of these because I loved it so much. Um, I just think that'll make a gorgeous garment, just gorgeous little pops. Someone tell me how to do this. Is it focusing? Does it matter? Oh, look at that. So this is sport. So I'm not, I'm not entirely sure I need to find a sport pattern because I normally just frankly ignore them because sport weight is really quite, um, it's not very popular in England. Um, but these are both sport. I think they're kind of too similar to go together. Um, but I'm thinking just basically, I need to cough. <coughs> I don't talk very much anymore. <laughs> um, basically, I'm just thinking kind of just a very plain garment, maybe with a contrasting um, contrasting collar and hem and stuff. Um, yeah, but I just love these speckles man i think there's some of this left in the shop but i, don't, I think this is all gone um and then i got a surprise dk bag so she had like some surprise bags so this was dk so this was a bargain this was a steal so it was 20, 20 i think for three dk so these are a bit gorgeous probably not normally what i'd go for but super duper nice so this would be awesome for like the tinsel mitts or hats or stuff gorgeous goldy color and um purpley type one yeah so lords frankly right look at them yeah so they're all from terry um a few of my friends um got some lovely things from them too but she was super pleased having um i imagine it's it's scary as um a yarn dyer to kind of take a break take a break Hamilton. um to take a break kind of from social media and basically promoting your business and then to kind of go back to it that must be quite a scary thing to do i guess um but we're all there still um yeah so as well as the yarny things i got i said i got my gorgeous um jewellery I got quite a bit I got um a holly set which was um that was on Facebook marketplace um as in a Christmas show marketplace as opposed to the marketplace 
Um, so I don't think these are on her website, but if you message her, I imagine she'll still have some. I got some gorgeous um, little stud rainbow earrings and I got some dangly Christmas trees. So they're on my feed on Instagram. And I know that Gemma from Snuggly Stars has also fallen down the rabbit hole. And I think she lives very close um, to the lady who makes them. And she's been dropping them around in person, <laughs> which um, I thought was awesome, but I didn't. Sometimes next door's cat comes in and I don't know he's here. Um, yeah, so she's been dropping them around in person, which is super nice. But um, yes, yeah, I've enabled her a little bit. Um, so, um, yeah, fun goings on, <laughs> as much as you can do. I went, um, last week, me and Rob painted a bit. So I've painted the kitchen. Um, it's a very, very light grey. It doesn't look a great deal different. So this wall's white and this wall's blue and then this wall's now very light grey. But it just, like, we've been here nearly 10 years and it was just looking a bit scruffy, thank, fr thank f frankly. So I painted that one. And um, Rob has painted a radiator cover in the hallway um, and I really wanted some new shelves, but I wanted like really chunky, vintagey, rusticy shelves. But there were loads. I looked on Etsy, you know, trying to support independents and stuff. There were loads. And then Rob managed to find this place called Leeds Wood Recycling. So we managed to get it. I'll, I'll move the camera. Look. Look at my beautiful shelf. So this is my beautiful shelf. Um... So yeah, it's just, it's basically um, a board, um, go on, give the word, give it a name, um, what's it called, scaffolding board. So I've got two of them, there's one there and there's one there, um, but they were bargain, they were like 4.50 a metre, it was totally amazing, um, I loved it there, I got a Christmas tree, not this one, this is um, driftwood, got like a wooden Christmas tree for like a fiver, it was so cool and we actually... Um, got them measured to the same width as the one that was previously up over there so we didn't have to re-drill holes and stuff and then this is a new addition which Rob didn't really want to do but I made him frankly and um, yeah so they've been really cute so what I was actually originally going to do on this wall is do loads of pictures and prints on this wall because there was like a lollipop thing up there which is now over there um yeah I was going to do loads of prints and some cool uh, bits and bobs here and there um but um he's like oh everything's so busy why do you need it so busy but that's just who i am so we um settled on a shelf but by that point i had actually already ordered some prints um not lords but i just wanted to share some of the prints i got um so these were all on etsy um so this one is um still in the sleeves it's gorgeous i love this one it's called um snippet art at etsy.com I've got a few of hers. <coughs> How nice is that? Yeah, so yeah, that's a print. That's like A5 size. And it came with um, a free Christmas card. Okay. Mm, even a watermelon. Um, and then I got um, this. This is a card, but I'm going to frame it. This is again from Snippet. Look at the back of them, aren't they cool? Because why not frame me? So I was going to frame this one too. Um, my sister-in-law is moving in with her boyfriend in the new year, which is exciting. So I've got her new home card in advance. And because I bought cards, they sent me cards for free. So they're super cool. I need to do a big cough. I've not got COVID. I've just got a cough now. <coughs> Apologies. Yeah, so they were super cute. So that was Snippet. Snippet. Yeah, but I just kind of came across them on Etsy. Um, I ordered something originally for um, a friend of mine, a card, which I've just wrote out today, so I need to post that maybe at the weekend. And I think these beat it. So it took, it took like 10 days to come, even though they were posted like immediately. But I guess everything's um, everything everything's delayed. And I know that when I've spoken to the postman in the past, um, he said like they'd had an outbreak of COVID um, and like loads of people had to go home in the depot, in the Royal Mail depot near us. Um, and therefore any of the posts that they were dealing with and then has to be quarantined for 72 hours. And so I can only imagine that's why everything is getting delayed. So I'm really trying to get it this side of Christmas. Obviously not the other side of Christmas because it'd be too late. But I'm trying to get them all as soon as I can. So it was payday, I guess, the other day. Feels like a very long time ago. So I've been trying to um, get in there. So I've got my sisters, 
my older sister. Um, I've got her present so far. I've got one of my brother-in-laws so far. Oh, is that it? It's, oh, I've got my dad's birthday, my, my dad's Christmas, and it's my dad's birthday next week. So I've got those two. They're all on the way. Nothing's arrived yet. They're all on the way. Um, yeah, I'm trying nothing. Nothing for Rob yet because he's really difficult to buy for. No idea. No idea what to get him. He's got more Mario socks than he can shake a stick at. Um, I did get another print, which I don't want to show you because um, it's really nice. But I did order three of them um, for friends and I'm going to give them as presents. Um, it's really nice. It's on the other side of this. <laughs> um, but I think I'm going to give them as presents. So I don't really want to show them on here because I'm not. I'm pretty sure other people watch. So therefore I won't I won't show you that. So that was a bit pointless, but um oh nearly nearly did. Trying to see where it came from. No, I've not got I've not got a person. But I'll show you when um I've got mine framed and I've um I guess gifted gifted the other ones. Um so yeah, other than, yeah, we've been doing the kitchen and perking that up a little bit. Um, yeah, we've got some house improvements we would like to do. We've been in here quite a while now. Um, but, you know, the kids are still messy. Like, Theo doesn't think twice about... He doesn't draw on the walls. They've never done that. But he's got no appreciation for, oh, I've probably got ketchup on my hands. Oh, I need to go and go down here. And I'll just put my hand on the wall. He doesn't notice. Like, he cut his hand the other day, took his plaster off, and then, like, bled on the cushion. It was a little cut. But like not bled on the cushion, but like they like wiped it on the cushion. But he is only four. Um so you know. Um so did I bring that one? Oh, I've not brought it. I worked very briefly on my litmus cowl as well, actually, which um is by Stranded Dye Works, Amy. That pattern's by her. So that was my advent I did last year. I just got a five gram advent from Justy Dimples last year at the Nottingham Yarn Expo, which would have been like last weekend, weekend before. Um, so I had a doctor's appointment the other day, like a real life in-person one. Um, so I took that to knit on because I didn't really have anything I could just grab. So I took that. Um, I was actually waiting for it. <sighs> Dear me, I'm sorry. Like 25 minutes because she booked us in at the same time. Um, it was weird there. It was really weird. It was like so empty. And this guy with his like very small baby we were both booked in for two o'clock um oh and it just cried for 20 about 25 minutes it was clearly had some sort of injection but it was horrible like oh it was horrible it was like it wasn't like in an annoying way but it was like a heart-wrenching way because it was such a little baby and it was that little baby cry that um I don't know if it does it to non-mamas but oh this little mama heart was breaking decay he, he came out on his own and I was like you need a medal like that was horrible and I don't even know you <laughs> Um, but yeah, I took that um, cowl and um, I did a little bit of work on on that, but not not very much. So I am a little bit apprehensive because it is the first of December next week, so I get to start my Spectrum Fiber Advent Calendar. So I couldn't actually manage my five gram last year from Dusty Dimples, and now I have a twenty gram Advent Calendar to do. So yeah, I'm feeling um, not necessarily pressure. Um, I would have liked more things finished and done by then. Um, but I definitely need to pick a pattern. Um, I'm thinking of doing a, some sort of crochet. Um, my crochet skills are very basic. Like literally, like I can granny stripe if I'd, I need, I'll need to refresh myself basically. Um, but next week is actually my last week of work in my current job. And then we are, how do I explain this without telling you what I do? Um, then basically we're just being transferred departments. New people, completely new job, completely new role, but within the same sector, we're gonna call it. Um, so that involves um, two weeks full-time work. So I've not worked full-time since just before I had Martha. I had a really bad back with Martha. So I ended up uh, reducing my hours. Um, so that's what, 2013? Um, I couldn't sit, I couldn't sit down. My back hurt so much I could I could not sit down. Um so I've not worked full time since probably about May 2013. So obviously I am working at home, so there is that. Um and we are just following um 
from what I gather, we're just following like a WebEx. So we don't need our camera on. We're not interacting. So it's not like I need to um, be on shore, if that makes sense. So basically, I'm thinking it's going to be a lot of good knitting opportunity is what I'm thinking and what I'm hoping. I'm trying not to stress about the fact I'm working nine to five and I also have to do the school run what like how am I even going to do this so I, I normally work 16 hours <laughs> so to go from 16 to 35 is a really big jump like I, I am getting paid for it and um, I'm taking some of it in holiday as well but oh I'm scared <laughs> I know people have bigger problems and work longer hours but it's a big jump is what I'm saying um and I'm scared of a new job I'm scared of what the new managers will be I don't entirely know what I'm doing yet in terms of actual what the job is um, but on a positive, I'm thinking that is a lot of knitting time. Um, so I won't be able to do podcasts that week because I'll be nine five in. Um, so next Friday is my next, my last day off oh God, till after Christmas because the kids will then, the kids, the Friday I finish training, which is like the 18th or something is when the kids break up from school. So then I won't have a window. Um, I said my husband works in retail, so his Christmasness varies massively. So my plan is to maybe try and podcast next Friday. I do have this giveaway that I want to do and I want to sort. Um, and I think it is kind of going to kind of going to be a festive giveaway. I think what we're probably going to have to do is do a, do it UK only, which I know sucks a bit, um, but it's a christmas themed festive holiday themed thing um so yeah i would like to kind of try and get that in and drawn as quick as i can so maybe even if they, they come soon i might be able to not squeak a podcast in maybe even on monday or something but just like put a video up or something um with some sort of prompt um but the comments below what i would really like is um if you have an advent coming um, or you're making one or you're swapping one with my your friends like a lot of my friends have done a swap um and they look amazing they've all got them today and i'm a little bit jealous although i can't keep up with them um let me know what you're making i'd be really interested to um hear what you're making um because 20 grams is a lot um so i think what i'm maybe planning on doing is maybe doing a garment or a shawl and then with the rest of the yarn because it won't take all the 20 grams is maybe putting it into a blanket and um, so i have a spectrum fiber advent which rob has squirreled away for me and um, so it was pricey um it was a treat um but i guess i don't want to waste it and i don't want to wait until i've opened everything before I then decide either um so yeah i'm still not quite sure what i'm doing but i would like to make i would like a plan um i want to um do my next christmas jumper which is a the hedgerow yarns one so it will be really nice between now and i guess when i start my training on the 7th um if i could kind of get that going basically because i want to be able to look at the screen because obviously you know new job um i need to be able to look at the screen so basically i want everything i'm knitting on to be in a stocking stitch position so if i'm doing a jumper i want the yoke done um yeah, so I need to kind of see and assess what I've got. I would really like to also clear the decks. I want the Mon, Man Mon Mane finished. I want my party top sweater finished. Um, I want Martha's jumper finished. So there is lots of stocking stitch opportunities. Um, so we'll see, I guess. I do think we'll have downtime as well because at the minute I don't get lunch hours and stuff. Um, and I think a lot of it is go off and look at this course. Lots of e-reading, that kind of stuff. So there's certainly going to be wiggle room, but I don't know what they're going to be like. And um, they can't see me, so they won't know I'm knitting. And I definitely concentrate more when I'm knitting and doing something, watching something, that kind of thing. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that's my that's my plans. That's what's coming up. So I definitely will try and... Um, definitely will try. <laughs> I will try my best to get a video in um, before I start my training on the 7th. Um but I also, I, it also means I kind of need to have all my Christmas shopping done too because I can't just like nip out to a shop in the daytime while the kids are at school like I can now. Um, I also really want to get um, another tattoo in. 
I wanted a knitting one like here. And um, now they've been told they were allowed to open up again. I was trying to squeeze that in. So he messaged me back after I messaged the guy. And basically, what have you got next Friday? <laughs> and he's like, oh, that's quite that's quite a limited window. Um, and if I'm getting just a little piddly one and someone else wants like a whole giant one money-wise, surely they'll want them. But we'll see. Um, yeah, so I'm going to um, crack on now. It's now 20 to 2 now 20 to 2 I've got an hour before pick up I started cleaning the oven I regret it entirely and um, I've had no lunch I really want to sit in it and read for a bit before I go and get the kids Um, we're going to start making some Christmas cards um this weekend because the post is slow because it's my dad's birthday tomorrow no it's not it's dad's birthday next week so I need to make sure his card gets there on time because my mum's was horribly late um yeah so lots going on I've got lots of lovely deliveries coming um my friend Gemma little grey girl if you follow her she's got a d-stash on her website of her personal yarn I believe there's still quite a lot there um I got a few from her I've got some bags coming I'm excited where's the post man I thought they'd have all been here by now because a few people have already got theirs by now but um it is what it is but the other day I had a delivery at from Royal Mail, I'd had one in the morning, like early in the morning, a parcel. Then we'd had a through the letterbox one. And then we had one at like 20 past four. So I know the work as hard as I can. I'm just impatient and it is my joy. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much all I've got at the minute. This is probably quite a long one when I'm merging them together. I'll have to do that again. It took a while last time. I can't even remember what Rob said, how to do it. So I'll do my best to kind of get this up over the weekend um, because he's, it's, Black Friday today. Not that you know we're in America, but um, his worker doing something for it. So um, he's on a, a long old busy shift today. Uh, it's appointment only if you want their stuff. Um, so at least he can kind of manage numbers and he's not at risk and stuff. Right. I also think I'll get my hair cut next Friday too. I'm going to try and do a video and if I can't do a video about the giveaway I will do it on Instagram so make sure you follow me on Instagram so it's this underscore nitty underscore life um and that's my main account I am aware I've still got my other account up um I need to get rid of it but I don't quite know how um but yeah so just follow me along on Instagram and if I mention a giveaway then I will um yeah I'll see what I can do because I don't know if I can just do a video of a giveaway on YouTube. We'll see, okay? <laughs> we'll see. Right, I'm gonna go and go. Um, I need to spin the washing machine and stick it in the tumble dryer and figure out what I've done with this oven. Right, I hope um, everyone stays safe and stay, stays well and healthy and isn't struggling too much. Or if you are struggling, just keep on struggling. Let's get to what the spring, I guess feels like a long way off doesn't it but you know it's December next week and um, so just try and enjoy any of the things you can enjoy get out in the fresh air anything that brings you joy and comfort just try and do it um reach out to people if you're feeling lonely if you're struggling um reach out reach out don't struggle alone um just keep on keeping on whose tagline is that Dundon it isn't it Dundon it knitting vicariously um she's returned to her podcast actually I think I'm one behind but anyway um stay safe everyone and I will catch you in December unless it's on Monday when I try and do a giveaway and then it's not December but I'll see you soon okay <laughs> thanks for watching everyone goodbye hello I have had um a post delivery um so I can share my giveaway prize so this is a gorgeous bag that I've received um, from Jibby Roo Fabrics. That's not Jibby Roo Fabrics, Jibby Roo Saws. So look at this. So it's bright yellow inside. It's a gorgeous size. Yes, I've picked all my nail varnish off. It's a gorgeous size. So she sent me that very kindly. And then Gemma from Snuggly Stars has sent me this beauty. This is her Christmas skin. So this is I can't what it's called. It's not on there, but this is her gorgeous Christmas skin. So it's a 50 gram with a mini. 
And then Jen from Castleview Yarns has sent me this gorgeous pack of stitch markers. So yeah. So this is my little giveaway for my um for my podiversary. Um so um, I guess if you'd like to comment below, if you would like to win this prize, I think I'm probably going to have to stick to the UK only, um, considering it is, what is it, the 29th of November today. Whoa. So I'm hoping to get um, the podcast up um, immediately. It's going to have to be immediately, isn't it? Yeah, um, so I'm hoping to do that as soon as I can. And um, if you want to comment below, if you would like to win, just give me, I don't know, anything. What do you want to make soon? I won't ask for plans because, you know, who knows what 2021 is going to bring. But um, would you, it could be a um, pair of socks with contrasting heels. You could do a sock head hat. Or um, do you have any advent calendar plans? Or what you're looking forward to? Favourite Christmas song? Thing to eat? Anything like that. Obviously, you don't have to celebrate Christmas. So anything kind of goes. So I'm going to do this really really fast actually this giveaway because it's christmas yarn and it's the first on tuesday so i think i'm going to try and get this podcast up as fast as i can and i think i'm going to try and draw it on friday um which is it's my dad's birthday on the third fourth so i'm going to try and keep it up until the fourth okay so it's a quick turnaround so i'm going to try and get the podcast up tonight or if not first thing in the morning which is monday so thank you hugely to jibby Roo. Jen at Castleview and Gemma at Snuggly Stars. We're all super excited about this. So yes, right, so I'm going to sign off now because it's very late. Good night. Thank you very much for joining in. Oh, don't forget, don't forget, put your username underneath as well. So if you want to join in, please put your username on either Ravelry or Instagram. Otherwise, I won't be able to find you. Um, the post is super duper slow, so I'm really trying to turn this around as fast as I possibly can. Um... I would really like you to be a subscriber because that would be really nice. I've been stuck at the number-ish of what I am now for ages. So it'd be lovely to get a little bit higher. So I'll put it on Instagram as well. So tell your friends. Um, yeah, I'll get it out as soon as, I, as soon as I can. I'd like to be able to post it like, next Saturday if possible. So um, yes, I better go and try and mush this all together. Um, but thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you later. Bye.